New at five, the impact from a major baby formula recall still lingering months later right here in southeast Wisconsin. Uba Ali talked to a mother struggling to feed her child. Uba, this has to be unnerving for moms and dads. Yeah, absolutely, Carol. As parents, the main goal is always to keep your child clothed, fed, and happy. But for one mother, it's been a nightmare trying to keep her child fed. She says she's looking for relief, and that relief can come from food pantries like this one in Waukesha County. Being a first time mom comes with a lot of new responsibilities and joys. It's been exciting, um, stressful, challenging. And the stress isn't coming from lack of sleep. Right now, my problem is the, um, the formula, not getting it. Jamie Calder's two month old son Brooks requires a special hypoallergenic formula like this one. He's fussy, um, he suffers from colic. As of late, Jamie cannot get her hands on the only formula that works for him. My husband is on his phone all the time looking on Target, the Target app. Do they have formula? Um, Walmart app. So she's turned to a Facebook moms group for help and lucked out with two cans of formula. They last 24 hours. The massive recall from Abbott at the beginning of the year and supply chain issues has left many shelves nearly empty and stores limiting the number of cans parents can buy. We saw this message at a Walgreens in Waukesha, and this was the scene at Target in Bay Shore. Until the supply catches up to demand, the Hunger Task Force says it could be the saving grace for families. We were lucky enough to have an individual donor donate an entire semi load full of infant formula. Director Sherry Tussler encourages parents and guardians to reach out early and often. If you need help, you should ask for it, especially if it's for a baby. But for now, it's back to square one for Jamie's family. The next step would be trying another formula. And behind me is several boxes of different types of baby formula. Like you heard, the Tongue Hunger Task Force works with several different food pantries, including this one in Waukesha County. If you're a struggling parent, you can make your way here. And we'll also have a link to other pantry sites you can visit. That'll be on TMJ4.com. For now, live in Waukesha, Uba Ali, TMJ4 News. Good to know there's options out there. Uba, thank you very much.